Alright guys, welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So today I believe we're going to finish this uh, this game and we're going to get on to uh, Assassin's Creed Origins on Monday. So, uh, thank you all for watching this. It's been really fun. It's been annoying at times, but for the most, time, for the most part it's been really fun. And... Uh, I'm hoping to finish Origins mid-September so I have time to play other things before Odyssey. I want to finish Horizon Zero Dawn and Vampire before um, Spider-Man comes out so that I can just focus on Origins and Spider-Man. But we'll see what happens. So let's get it. Looks like I'm playing as Jacob. <laughs> kind of annoying because I played as Jacob like all game yesterday. Which you got there. Where did you buy it? If if you don't mind me asking. Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn. <laughs> Was it my eyebrows? Yes. And your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's ball tonight. How did you come by that? Freddy, there's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. All right. This is going to be fun. No, it isn't, because I'm going to have to try doing this without killing anybody. I hate that. This is Assassin's Creed. We need to kill people. I know it takes a great amount of skill to do shit without killing people, but I want to kill people. <laughs> I saw a cat. Do not kill anyone. Well, there has to be at least one royal guard by itself somewhere. That one, maybe that one. No, he's too close. Let's check the other three. Everyone is by a police officer or security guard. Jesus Christ, come on. There's no way I'm going to do this without killing someone. It's just not going to happen. Oh, well, that guy's kind of by himself. If I could kidnap one of them. Lead him out. Out of the restricted area and knock him out. That might work. Right? I don't know, I haven't tried it before. Oh, I can't assassinate him. I 
Right. I require a reason to end your life. Where should I bring this guy to knock him out? You stupid animal. <laughs> yeah, I can run now. Need to find some. I think we we need to put him in a carriage, don't we? Good. No. You know when sees us knock him out. There we go. Whoops. Not exactly what I was trying to do. Steal his uniform. Oh, come on. I'm like 90% sure we gotta hide the body. Now to hide the body. Yep. Hide the body in the carriage. Perfect. Ha! Full sink, boys. Here I come. And, and girls, if you're watching. Don't want to be sexist here. Why am I running through here? Why am I coming up here? Jesus Christ. Because I like making things difficult on myself. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My <laughs> to you. I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. Full sink. Lots of EXP. Another skill point, I sh I'm sure. No? Well. Oh, I did get a skill point. Cool. Alright, I'll see you guys at the next mission. Yay, we finally get to play as Eevee again. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Me too. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. All right, gotta get carriage, and I got Allow some skill points. To There are three carriages I could choose from. All of them look like they're in the courtyard, though.
Maybe there's something I'm missing. Hmm. That one's the only one that looks like it's all by itself. And the good thing is I can kill people. No more tiptoeing around trying to avoid combat. Oh, you're dead, boy. You're coming closer. Coming closer. Yep, you're dead. You're dead. You and your stupid hat. I gotta go the other way. Son of a bitch. Wants me to go back in there? Fuck you. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm fine. I'm fine. From this point on, I should. God damn it, stop changing direction on me, stupid GPS. Just like a real life GPS. Your Highness, where are we headed? Belgrave Square. After this quest, both Jacob and Evie will be level nine. of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people. It was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. Atta go. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. Flames take actors and spectators unawares that the Only some people are willing to help. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow our personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. Oh, and shit. Your mother as well, Cecily. <laughs> she and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick, 
And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green look? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. That's it. Jesus Christ, come on. Almost there. Get out of the way, bitch. Oh, you cunt. He shot me. To Parliament, please. On the double. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, Your Highness? Seriously? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subjected to the yoke of an outsider's rule. My people are treated as slaves. I will die poor a thousand times over if only to see them free. Your passion moves me, Your Highness. What would you have me do? Take this copy of the wrongful treaty and defend my claim to the throne. Help disengage the Punjab from British... I shall speak up, but I am only one voice. I cannot promise anything but a show of support. That is more than enough. Good day, sir. <laughs> May God bless you. Nice, only one more remains. To the Gladstone residence. I remember right. Gladstone's a cunt. That my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. For truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India. And certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank, but one must not tell lies to a king. Your honesty is most enlightening. When I become prime minister, I intend to push for peace. But it will be a long and slow process. And I am afraid I can almost guarantee you will never see India again. If my people are free, then my imprisonment shall be no burden. Perhaps your idealism is real. Although, after observing the tigers wandering the grounds of your lush, expensive estate, forgive me for doubting it. Is that it? Okay. Out of here. 
go. Yeah, Gladstone's a cunt. Much luck, your highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Thank you, Miss Fry, for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad. Broken, even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us. Cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. How are you there, Evie? And now we gotta return this piece of shit. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I feel like maybe I should have cleared uh, this area before doing these missions, but whatever, it's fine. It can be done. There you are. Of course, I gotta bring it all the way in. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to bring it to that exact spot to f despite being fired upon. Come on. This is fucking stupid. What? They shouldn't be able to see me. The fuck? Shit, shit. You know what? Fuck it. Are you fucking serious? This is fucking stupid. The carriage is returned. This is probably the, probably the dumbest mission in this fucking game. Dumbass shit. Wait. Since I'm not being attacked anymore, let's just get these chests real quick. Really? Stupid fucking horse, move. Are you, are you serious? Really? Fuck off.
No real horses were harmed in the making of this game. Bitch. Alright, oh shit, there's a wall there. There we go. It's literally impossible to steal a carriage without entering the courtyard. All of them are in the courtyard. Alright, well, let's get to the next mission then. Alright, let's do one more full time sake, guys. Locked herself in the laundry room for an entire day before we found her. Most of them are in here. Shit. I thought that was going to be a way in. I thought there was going to be a way in from up here, too. What the hell? This one so far is. Oh, hello. Bitch. Oh, I got a skill point. <laughs> it's a funny. guy from here. Yep. Itch. Sniper up top. I get her from here. Go up real quick. Actually, get, let's just try and go in. Wait, hold on. Where's the entrance? Find an entrance to this damn place. Oh. 
Come on, get closer, bitch. That's right. Investigate that dead body. You die too. Ah, damn, I almost got him. <laughs> Sweet. There's always time to rescue children, right? Alright, I'll see you guys at the mission. What the fuck? What are you still doing here? Getting beat by my fucking rooks, that's what you're doing. Alright, I'll see you guys at the mission. Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. All right, here we go, guys. Last mission. <laughs> Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? Alright, we get to play as Evie. Come on, Jacob. They already made a live action uh, syndicate movie. I think Hugh Jackman would play uh, Jacob. He'd probably play Jacob better than whoever voices him. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. Thank the plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Is the key holder? You are going to escort me. Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Easy. That hurts. Oh, stop your whining. That much is certain. Do I get up there? Gentle. Okay, the stairs over there. The lady is with me. Much obliged. Madam? That hurts. The move I pulled was a little risky. But my arm. It worked out. Gentle. That hurts. My arm.
gentle. Well, if I could trust you, I wouldn't have to hold you so tight. Ooh. My arm. That hurts. I don't look like there's anyone in this room. I'd ask to hold on to him just in case. Gentle. Right, here we go. Gentle. He's to this room, isn't it? My arm. Looks like I have no further use for you. Pleasant dreams. The plans are somewhere nearby. Now for the vault. Let's get this chest real quick since we're here. I don't think I can go back that way. Let's see if there's an end I mean an exit over here in this room real quick. There's another chest over here anyways. Nice. I don't know what that is, but nice. Very nice. Oh, another chest. Any guards over there? Nope. Go get that chest. belt for Jacob. I'm sure he won't appreciate it coming from Evie, but whatever. He'll still wear it. I'll make him. What does she think she's doing here? Hello? You shut up. Really? I didn't even do anything. I see her. We'll Son of a bitch. I mean, I guess I could take another guard hostage. Hold on, let's wait for this guy to move. Shit, he's coming over here. Shit. God. Don't come in here. Okay, he's leaving. Let's go. He's probably the one that saw me before. Okay, we're good. We're golden. Jacob's most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere, or accidentally pushing the queen down a flight of stairs. Jesus. Evie, he's not that fucked up. There you are. <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, come with me. Your Majesty, may I present Miss Evie Fry? You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. <laughs> I really Probably didn't like Gladstone either. Miss Fry, may I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, 
You've had your fun. But the game is over. Uh -uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but the mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, then he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine begins. And now Jacob needs to save her. to be a point I can climb without being seen. Peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. Don't worry, Freddy. I'm Batman. Look. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. Itch. Now to find the real royal guards. All right, free all captives. Er, let's see. Free all captive royal guard groups. There's a group right there. I don't have any more throwing knives, though. This is gonna... Be annoying. I don't think the hallucinogenic darts are gonna work on anyone. I haven't upgraded them. What's up, bitches? I get 
Yeah? I think you're full of shit. Oh wait, I need to free them, that's right. And all the excitement, I almost forgot. I'll get you out. No problem, mate. Freed them, right? Why are they just standing there? Nah, I'm not gonna recruit them. I don't need them. They're not my rooks. Guard group over here. Are there any others? Oh, that's Apolline. Hold still for a moment. Do it. Bitch. I gotta kill this guy over here. Haha. <laughs> Dumb bitch. I've left. These two at the same time. Nope. It's gonna be. Oh, okay. It is. It's gonna be both. Good. Three left. Easy. Bitch. And then there were two. Easy. Go signal Evie to make sure she knows that she's safe. Evie could have killed Stark right there with her bare hands. That's you awesome. Our assistance. I never liked balls. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Here, the location of the vaults. Go. Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Let's do this. Shit. Go, go, go. Oh, get down. Go, go down. Go down, Jacob. Jesus Christ. 
Ugh, okay. We. Right. Now I can use my gun. I warn you, my boy, but you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache. All right, here we go. Big Sister Evie to the rescue. Wow, these guys are hella weak. Come on, go down. God damn it, Evie. It's supposed to be less difficult to deal with than Jacob. What the fuck did you just climb on? <laughs> or attempt to climb on? Jacob! Shit. Lovely. You know, I never noticed this path here before. A little funny. London would soon be rid of your chaos. This city was a safe harbor. A little... Uh oh. The shroud was never meant for you. You would rather destroy. Oh, you cunt. my mistake of course Can I still take that path up there oh, doesn't look like it oh shit I just uh, no oh god I guess experiencing the uh, piece of Eden in action too made Jacob mature a bit and take the pieces of Eden more seriously. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I tried jumping over it and it failed. Okay. Shit. Okay, okay. Up again. Come on! Before it comes back up. Jesus. Oh god. They're moving now. Uh... 
Oh god, that one went backwards. Shit. <laughs> oh, it's annoying. Uh, in there. That way, yeah. Yay, Henry! It must be Assassin Christmas, guys! Evie, let's do this together. I kind of really like this boss fight, even though it's kind of annoying. Just the way they take them out together is pretty cool. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you gonna wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. The fate wasn't death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs? The chaos I caused? I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry is stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Uh, do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Abilene, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abilene informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. 
And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? I invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> the cake is a lie, Evie. Don't do it. Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. The Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! <laughs> nice smiley that face. Skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want them him to bleed. That us, them that told us lies of their bravery. Them that preached on progress and put us in the poor house. I love seeing Galena in action. Did he kill her? Only the mission matters. Understood. Those who fought those who fought by how they live. Loved ones taken long before this world. Galena, we need an exit. We need to go now. Understood. Shroud. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. And hey, 
We pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not. When the Shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're now making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Assassin Christmas. Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but... I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. It's really disappointing to know that this is the last game we get to see Juno, or that her story even matters, because the rest goes to the comics and she fucking dies. Really frustrating, to be honest. I hope, I hope what they do with uh, Origins is, not Origins, with Odyssey, and the games going forward, they, uh, what's it called? They make Aida somehow important to the story. Like, maybe Aida gets revenge for, um, for Juno's death, you know? Something, you know? It's frustrating knowing that <laughs> Assassin's Creed, pretty much the first game to Syndicate was all meaningless. Because what they built up to... They didn't execute in the games. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you in Origins. Peace out.